Good morning, everybody. I think that today might be a slightly busy day, so I thought I'll take you along with me. Um, just show you all the little bits that I do. I don't know how it's how well it's going to go. I might end up finishing this vlog in three minutes' time, so uh, I forgot to vlog. <laughs> anyway, uh, I've had an email from school saying take Bill for a PCR test, so we'll be doing that today. Um, he's gone back to bed. Delighted he is. Um, oh, that's Wilfred's toast just popped. Christmas Jeff is doing my editing. Pooed in a glass this morning. Yesterday he stole all of Wilfred's advent calendar chocolates and I swear I thought Wilf was going to cry. <laughs> anyway, Toby's gone to work. He went to work at seven this morning, so I need to get my act together and take Wilfred to school. But first of all, I want to feed my sourdough starter. I've lost my tripod, so I'm just gonna have to prop you up and show you what I'm gonna do. Sorry about my face, bald tongue look again. Whilst Wilfred is eating his toast and eating elf poo. What's the elf poo like, Wilf? It didn't taste good. Well, I suppose it is poo. Right. So, I'm very lazy. I just eyeball. I've got that much starter at the moment. I want to double it. So, I'll just... This is a bit tricky with this ladle. I'll just double... Roughly. The amount of flour. It's about double. Oh, I've made a mess. I, um, my starter's ever so good. I'm not going to brag or anything, but it's just lively. I've had very sluggish starters. Look at this one. This one's got ever so lively. So then I'm just going to add some water, just a splosh, give it a mix. Make sure I get all to the bottom. I need more water because look, it's... It's not looking right, it's looking flaky. Okay, give it a good stir. I like using this jar because it's really easy to see how far it's bubbled up. But I don't like using this jar because it's messy and it's hard to stir. Now that's still a bit thick. Now that's either because I haven't got all of the old starter from the bottom. I think I need to add some more water to this. A bit thick. Room temperature water. I feel like that is looking nice. Look. Lovely. Don't like it too watery because then it makes my loaf flat. Well, it's sort of too watery to hold itself up. So, it's not quite double actually, is it? That's, that'll have to do. I had too much starter to start with, really. Let's just keep an eye on it make sure we catch it before it exhausts, exhausts itself. So what I want this to do is rise up to about there. I'm going to go and pop it somewhere relatively warm. I'm just going to pop it in a dish, my friend made me this, um, over by the arga. That's just in case it does over bubble. I don't think it will though. Just done the school run and it is pretty windy and pretty cold. Now I need to book Bill's PCR test. Hello girls, hello girls. What a dark day. As Ali would say, or Ali's mum, it's drink. Oh, heavens above. I forgot I left the kitchen in this mess. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm going to do one of those click to tidy. Not sure at what point you click though. Hang on. 
and I even lit the candles. That was very satisfying. But the problem with it is to get this shot perfect, <laughs> or as perfect as it's gonna be for me, I've had to hide stuff that I can't do anything with right now. I've had to hide it here. So I need to log Bill's negative lateral flow. That is my to-do list. Prepping these for supper tonight. My plant is soaking because these don't like to sit in water. So I, oh, it soaked it all up. And then this is bath bomb making gear. Bill's due his injection, but his prescription hasn't arrived at the chemist yet. So they're all just sat there. But that, you see, it's trade descriptions, isn't it? It's advertising standards. Don't believe what you see on the telly, mate. Honestly, it's all a load of rubbish. That's right, it is a load of rubbish. And what else is rubbish is I won't go outside for a wee because it's so windy. Precious. Look, she's going grey. <laughs> We're going for your PCR, aren't we? Second one. Well, no, but the first one today. Well, the the gate wouldn't open. Look. No. Socking on wet through. Yeah, you've had one before. Yes, you've had a PCR before, but this is the first time for this time. Mm. Yeah? yeah. It's hideous. I was just grizzling to myself. Can you hear that? I don't know if you can hear that. It sounds like somebody's got a watering can and they're pouring into a metal bucket. We had our uh, drain pipes and gutters replaced and they've done a really bad job. <laughs> and it's so noisy, it's driving me demented. So I was feeling grisly about that. And I was then getting the ump because I decided yesterday that this morning I was going to blitz my sewing room, wrap up all the Christmas presents and just attack the world and get everything done. And I was feeling really motivated. And then Toby said, oh, I'm not gonna do the school run tomorrow. You need to do it. I've got to go really early for a work meeting. That's fine. It's work, you know, it's fine. <laughs> but that kind of changed things. And then the school sent an email saying, Bill's been in contact with a teacher who's had a positive COVID result. You need to get him a PCR. So that changed things again. So we've just been to get the PCR, as you know. <laughs> oh, the fridge is making noise. And um, anyway, just feeling really grumpy. And my Christmas lights from my Christmas tree that I've ordered, because the ones we've got now, the airplanes, we live near the airport, they, just, they keep trying to land on my Christmas tree because it is like a runway. <laughs> They haven't arrived, no, it's just getting very first world grumpy. Then the postman came. And I know I said yesterday, I, I, I've said no to all presents and what have you, but I've had some arrive and I'm so delighted. <laughs> oh, I've just had a chocolate. Did you see it all in my teeth? Um, yeah, look at these. Remember, I was talking about Karen on Sunday, um, and my, oh, I'll get my mittens so I can show you them. Oh, they're so beautiful. Literally nearly bald when I couldn't find these, and that's the, um, oh, it's not a three by one, it's a two by one rib. Two by one rib that I wanna do on my stripes. Yeah, two by one. Oh, look, you can see what a tip this is. Never mind. Let's go out, quick, quick. And um, she sent me two pairs of socks and they are my faves and they fit the best. Now she sent me another pair and she's dyed these, naturally dyed with, what did she say? Logwood, hand dyed with logwood. Oh my gosh, I'm so lucky. What a beautiful pair of socks. Oh, so lucky. 
such a spoiled brat, honestly. And my mate, Ali, um, from Scotland, she spoils me absolutely rotten. She sent a skip full of presents. <laughs> look at those. Oh, look. Isn't that cute? Oh. Look! <laughs> I love it. And it's got chocolate buttons in it. And I think I might cry. My eyes are... My eye, hang on a minute. I just got really overwhelmed. And look. Oh, I love the smell of beeswax. Oh, I've got all silly. I slept really badly last night. Really, really badly. I was so cold all night. Look at this card. And it's one of these ones that you can grow. I love that. And look how it was all wrapped. She is just extra. So we're happy. <laughs> Look at my sourdough starter. Mwah! I'll make sourdough in a minute, but first we're making what we're we making, Bill? Waffles. And what are you making right now? The waffles. Waffles! Yeah! Okay, Bill, you need to put water in this. I can see your fingers on through the. I know. <laughs> All right. Fill it up. In here, I've got citric acid and bicarb. I've got the ratios <coughs> from, that's not nice, thesoapkitchen.com. It's basically two to one. Right, where's the spray end? <coughs> Let's put some masks on. It's not hazardous or toxic for us, but it's just not nice in your mouth. It's make you sneeze and you already have a bit of a sore throat and a sneezy nose don't you oh, there we go oh. so what did you choose did you choose you chose fuchsia and ylang ylang didn't you they sound nice together don't they yeah. all right let's get out an old measuring medicine measuring spoon and we need, oop, flip these tops off. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, right. You need to pop that down. What you need to do is stir this because we need a teaspoon of this one in. And you're gonna have to stir it in, not mix it up nicely. This Lovely. will come in where the cooking skill is coming in. That's right, this is where the cooking skills come in. Right, now we have to spray it and stir it. Keep stirring. Because if you pour too much water in one place, what do you think might happen? What happens, won't work. What happens with the bathroom when you put it in water? It fizzes up. And we don't want this to fizz up, do we? Not until it's in the bath. Good work. Oh, mm. oh. <gasps> you had to tap it, Mum. Oh, it's beginning to fall to pieces. So Bill's got bored and disappeared off. <laughs> I just want to say, these are not going well. Don't bother buying stupid little things because what you end, they just keep growing. I wish that I'd known this and what I would have done is not bought them. I would have just bought the citric acid and the bicarb. I already had the essential smells from a soap making kit we had last year. And look, I'm gonna try and pull this out here. I don't know what's going on. 
Right. It's got a really light chewing gum, hopefully. Well, I'm sure it'll be fine in the bath because I've just cleaned up and it fizzed up. Beautiful. Can you hear that? Can you hear that blinking drain? <laughs> My husband, Toby, he cannot stand the sound of people chewing, people swallowing and rattles in the car. We're a right pair because I have tinnitus, so I can't stand sounds that, to me, are similar to my tinnitus. So I can't stand the sound of earrings jangling, wind chimes. Um, how dare somebody inflict tinnitus on the wider community? <laughs> I am saying that tongue in cheek, but because I know lots of people love them, but for me, well, I can't bear it. And um, the sound of running water, I can't do water features. They, they sound like tinnitus to me. So me having to listen to this drain and gutter, it's making me wanna poke fingers in my eyes. Back to the bonds. So, just roll them up, get some muslin, make a little, Pooch, put a little lucky band, which comes, I save them all off of my, when my veg box comes, things like broccoli, they're tied with an elastic band for some reason. Anyway, I save them all. There we go. And now later on, when this is sort of solidified, when it's gone hard, I'll tie, oops, it's fine. I'll tie a festive bow around there. And I got these little, doodars. Oh, elastic bands on these as well. And this twine. And they will write on there who it's for. So there'll be festive ribbon and who it's for and who it's from. And they're his teacher's gifts. Now we have never repeated a teacher's gift. The 10 years he's been going to that school Christmas and summer, the gifts have all been homemade and always different. I don't know how we've done it. And I've got an idea for his leaving goodbye present that we'll be sending in. Um, we're gonna get some of those ornamental rocks from the garden center and he's gonna decorate them and write on them who they're for and who they're from. And the teachers love that sort of thing. I know he's 16, but he kind of developmentally got stuck at about seven years old and his teachers all know that and they all love him and they love a homemade gift. And now for sourdough. So what I'm gonna do is chuck 450 of flour, bread flour in here. I get mine from my zero waste shop. Um, it's just bread flour, organic, I think. But before I started shopping there, I just used to use Waitrose Essentials and it was brilliant. Now I'm putting 310 of water. Three ten of water in there, and I'm just going to shaggy it up. Oops, I can't do anything without making a mess. I've got flour all over the worktop. There we are. I'm going to sprinkle a teaspoon of salt on top of there, just so that the salt can start to melt. About that much. Sprinkle on the top. I get this from my zero waste shop. I think all of that cost me something like two pound fifty. Mad, isn't it? So this can be left just to introduce itself to itself <laughs> for about an hour, I reckon. Dog walking now, and then come back and sort that sourdough out. I've got to take a light bulb up to fill in the barn because you can't see what he's doing. It's been so windy here today, as you'll have seen. I put a clip in earlier 
and um, he's put barricades up where the doors and windows would be and now he can't see inside because it's dark but he couldn't work in those conditions oh I was going to go and get an advent chocolate I'll eat it when I come back right bunny let's go for a dog walk and then I've got to deal with this laundry pile that's a big pile of washing there and so's that I'm showing you all my horrible housekeeping failures Isn't it bonkers? It was blowing a hoolie. Now look. Nothing. Still as still can be. Slightly beginning to regret saying I was going to record everything that I've done today because there are things that I've done I've forgotten to record. And I'm not going to show you the laundry dealings. And I'm not going to show you me doing admin paperwork I'm just not I am going to show you me pouring my lovely burbly starter onto my sourdough come on baby 100 grams oh look at it <laughs> In it goes. Ooh, that's way too much. I'm gonna have to pull some out. Not get the salt. We don't want salt in the starter. Oh, nailed it, 100 grams. Perfect. And now I fold with one hand and make the biggest mess you ever did see. Whoops. You can't do this with one hand. And I don't want to wash my hand and put my tripod up. I just don't want to. So I'm just going to do a rudimentary fold and amalgamate just till it feels like it's a dough. Oh, and I'm recording this the wrong way round. Right, that'll do. I'll let that sit for half an hour and then I'll do that again. Back from the school run now. And look what my little lad's made. He's made a wreath. I don't know where to put it. Uh, maybe, I don't know. Maybe. I need to find somewhere nice for it. Celebrate him for making it because it's lovely. Um, I'll find somewhere. What have you done, Bunny? Thanks a bunch, Bunny. Is it not Christmas chair? Nope. Oh, that was a blooming mission. Hardly ever have to empty the bin because we don't generate a lot of rubbish. Uh, but it's not, it hadn't been emptied for, the, for about 10 days. So it was full, plus it had all of Bill's stuff in it from his clear out yesterday. And I've had a load of parcels with lots of packaging arrive. So that was all in there. And it, ah, oh, lateral flow tests and snotty tissues. I did not need that bunny. Look, she knows she's done wrong. Look at her, she's sulking. I can't tell her off though. She doesn't even speak English, she's Spanish. And poor old Wilfie has a very, very burning sore throat. So we're doing a lateral flow. Let's see. Ooh, I think it looks all right so far. Is anyone awake? Is anyone awake? Does anybody want to come out for a cuddle? Lucy. Lucy's come out and look who's coming. Yes. Hi Timmy. You know my voices, don't you? Oh, hello, you're coming over. You're coming to find me. Hello. Come on then. Hello, darling. Special on my shoulder. 
she is. I've got my special little Lucy. Why are you going flat like a ham sandwich? What? Shrimp flat like a ham sandwich. Hello, darling. Oh. What are you doing, Will? You're so good. Oh, your pouches are full. Look at that one. Oh, you're sweet. Still don't know about toenails. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Oh, you're so cute. Love you. Can you see? Look at that face. You're so cute. You're so sweet. I love you so much. Coming on to say goodnight. Got my cup of tea. It's a bit strong actually, but it is decaf. And I've got my poodle. And I've got my knitting and it's early it's about quarter past eight and that's that's me done for the day I forgot to record the rest of me doing the sourdough and cooking the supper and tidying up and just doing all those little bits and pieces um I just wanted to get it done so I could come up to bed and tomorrow I will try to do the things I didn't manage to do today. But I did tick a thing, a few things off the list that did need doing today, like making the bath bombs with Bill. And oh, I had so many nice comments on yesterday's vlog saying what a nice mum I am. And then this afternoon and this evening, I have been the crabbiest, grumpiest git. I'm very tired. I said earlier, didn't I, that I didn't sleep very well last night. So tonight I am going to wear my bed socks and have a hot water bottle. I might even put my earplugs in. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing that. Such a, such a mourn. All right then, see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>